Hello and welcome to today's YouTube episode. On today's sewing adventure we're going to be having a sewing catch up to see what's been going on in my sewing room recently. So let's get started. So just a little bit about what I'm wearing today. Today I am wearing the Homer and Hal's Ingrid dress. Now this one started off its life as a light blue chambray and I actually fabric dyed it to be this medium blue colour and I'm much happier with this colour. I really like the Ingrid dress, it's got this bust start in the middle which is quite interesting and then it's got an asymmetrical hem as well. You should be able to see a photo of it on the screen. It's got a really lovely full skirt and it's a really comfortable make to wear. So the reason why I wanted to do a sewing catch up today is because I've got a lot of things going on in the sewing room. I've got a lot of works in progress and I've got a few plans which I am really excited to share with you and a couple of things which I have made which I would like to share with you as well. So that is why it's a sewing catch up and I can't wait to tell you all about what's been happening in my sewing room. So the first thing I wanted to show you today is this. Now this fabric has been cut out and I'm going to make the patina blouse, the Friday Pattern Company patina blouse out of this gorgeous fabric. Now this is a lovely little kind of small floral fabric and it is a Rosen Hubble cotton. So I thought that that would make a really lovely patina blouse and I can't wait to make that one up. It is all cut and ready to go so hopefully it won't be too long until I finish that one and I'm wearing it. So I can't wait to finish the Friday Pattern Company patina blouse. I think that's going to be a really good one for summer. I did cut it with the short sleeves, so it will be a summer make. And because it's the 100% cotton, I think it'll be really wonderful to wear. So I cannot wait to finish that one. Now, I have from the same fabric made this, and this is the Fennel Fanny Pack. So it is a bum bag. And I really wanted to try to make the bum bag just to see if I could make it and how difficult it would be. So I used the scraps after I cut out the patina blouse and I made the bum bag. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It's got some really lovely techniques to finish so it looks really lovely from the inside and from the outside. I did put quilting wadding in this one. You can see that it's got the horizontal quilting lines. So I did put quilting wadding in this one just so that the bag had a bit more structure. And again, you can see that the finishing of this one is really lovely. So there's no raw edges, no um, exposed edges anywhere. And it's just a really, really fun make. So I'm pleased that I made that one. And I can't wait till I finish the patina blouse as well and then I'll be able to wear them together as a matching set. So the Fennel Fanny Pack is a pattern by Sarah Kirsten and I'll be putting a link to this one in the description box below. It is a really fun make, it was quite quick and it was lovely to do something a little bit different from dressmaking for a bit and I'm sure that I will be able to use this one a lot. Now another sewing plan I have is to make jeans. Now. If you've watched my YouTube before, you'll know that I really love the Megan Nielsen Ash Jeans pattern. And that is a stretch denim pattern which is quite close fitting to your body. So I do have a few pairs of those. I love that pattern, they fit perfectly. But what I thought I'd do is I wanted to branch out and make these. Now these are the Merchant and Mills Heroin um, Jeans. And I haven't made them before. These ones are not made from a stretch denim. You can see the line drawing on the back there. They're made from non-stretch denim. And they are more of a straight cut rather than a tight fitting one like the Ash Jeans. So I'm really excited to make these ones. Now before I made them, I did make a twirl. And you should be able to see a picture of the first twirl. This is still the first twirl here that I made. Now the first twirl I used the waistband from the pattern and the waistband is actually straight so you should be able to see in the picture that the waistband was sticking out a lot at the back so I had to think about it and I wondered how I could change that so that it didn't stick out at the back so this is the twirl here it's just made from a bed sheet didn't take very long at all 
Um, but what I've done is I took the waistband from the Ash jeans, which is a curved waistband, and I put them on. And you should be able to see a photo of this now. And the fit is actually much better with the curved waistband. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that curved waistband on the final pair of jeans. So I am really pleased that I decided to twirl this pattern first. I think the overall fit is really great. I like that the style is a bit more baggy and I think that that will be easier to wear in summer because what happens with the ash jeans is they do cling to your body and they don't give much room to breathe. So in winter they're great because they're lovely and warm but in summer that's not really what I want to have in a pair of jeans. So I'm really excited to try these ones. So the fabric I have chosen for these is actually the Merchant and Mills denim. And I have washed it, that's why it's looking a bit, um, I haven't ironed it, but I have washed it. So that's why it's looking a bit crinkly. It is an eight ounce denim and it's from Merchant and Mills. I'll put a link in the description box below. And it is just really lovely. So I think that for a first pair of these heroin jeans, I think this will be perfect. And I can't wait to make these ones and wear them in the summer. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is another sewing plan and this sewing plan is the Pep Cut Patterns Estella Dress. So I know I've talked a lot about this one. I bought this pattern at the uh, Stitch Festival recently and I do really want to make this one up for summer. Now the fabric that I have chosen is actually a new fabric that I've recently bought and it is this gorgeous fabric. It's a viscose from Sister Mintaka. And I think that this will be absolutely beautiful made up as the Estella dress. Now I will, I know I'm saying the Estella dress, but I will make it up as a separate top and a separate skirt so that I can wear them as separates, but also together as kind of like a faux dress. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I think this fabric, the colors in this fabric are just stunning. And I really like the color pink. <laughs> if you know me, so I think that there's quite often when the fabrics are pale like this, they don't really suit me, I think I need stronger colours, but because there are some stronger colours in there and it is a pink base, I think that this one will look amazing and I cannot wait to make the Estella dress up. So just another look at the Estella dress, it, you can wear it reversible, so you, and you can, it's got all different options for tying, and just in terms of paper cut patterns, their little booklets are amazing. So there's all these different kind of options for styling. The instructions are so fantastic. They're just so beautifully put together, these booklets. And I can't wait to make that one. I've not made this one yet. So really, really looking forward to that. So if you have watched my recent vlogs, you will know that I had two skirts that a friend had given to me and I was planning to make the Saguaro set from the Friday Pattern Company up. So, this is where I am at so far. That's the back, this is the front. So what I've done is I've taken the two skirts and I have made kind of a half in half trouser. And I'm super impressed with how they have turned out. The waistbands at the top, this is the brown skirt and then this was the blue skirt. For the waistband so I'm super impressed with how those trousers have turned out and I'm halfway through the top this is the top here um, I've put the little rosy cheeks label on I haven't got the waistband on yet but you can see that that is starting to form a top and I think that that will just look really really beautiful um, once it is all made up as a set and what I've done is I've been quite careful I've put this blue here and then on the trousers at the front, the blue is actually on the other side. So it's kind of a big mishmash of all of the skirts together. And hopefully, once it's finished, it will work nicely and will look really great. Because I do really love the Saguaro set as a pattern. So some of you may have spotted this in the background. So this is the Robertswood Patchwork Bow Dress. 
I think in the next vlog I will be unveiling that one so you'll be able to see it all. It's going really, really well. I've got the zip in, the zip is in straight, <laughs> I've got the facing attached, I've got the straps on, and all I have to do is add three more layers to the bottom and then it is done. So I'm super happy with how that one is going. Now, I did actually make a bum bag out of the embroidered fabric to go with that dress. So here is the matching bum bag and it is out of embroidery fabric and I have put those quilting lines in. I've got the quilting wadding in there as well. I've used some pink fabric for these straps at the side and then I've used the pink um, strap and the white clip along with the white zip as well. And what the other bum bag which I showed you had the zip across the front. I didn't want to do that for this one because I didn't want to break up this gorgeous embroidery. So I just left it as a solid piece. So it doesn't have the separate pouch in the front, but it does have the pouches in the middle. It's not quite finished. So this is what it looks like before you put that bias binding. It's got all these raw edges. So I do need to finish it, but once it's all nice and pink on the inside, it will be fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this bum bag as my bag with the dress. So there's a little sneak peek of that one. Now this bum bag was based on the Fennel Fanny Pack, but I actually just made it a bit wider so that I could get more things in there. So I added an inch to the width and an inch to the length, and I'm really happy with the size. And I think if I make this pattern again, then that is what I will be doing. I'll be adding that extra inch to the width and the height. So this one is just a fabric that I have, and this one I actually won in a competition from the lovely Rebecca, who works at Ankara Rack. So I'll put her details and the links to her Etsy shop below. But this is the fabric that I won. It's this gorgeous Ankara cotton print, and I really, really love it. But I just don't know what to make with it. I have thought of making the Tilly and the Buttons Cleo dungaree dress because I think that it would look really nice in this fabric. But I've also thought of just making a self-drafted skirt, um, like a really gathered skirt, I think that would look beautiful in this fabric, or maybe even some wide leg trousers. So this is just a piece of fabric from my stash that's been there since September, um, so quite a while. And I just, it's so beautiful that I just don't know what to make with it. But I would really like to get that one made up for summer because I think that it would be really lovely to wear something so bright and beautiful in the summer. So that brings me to the last thing that I'm going to share with you today. So the very last thing I'm going to share with you today are these two fabrics. Now I bought these from Empress Mill Fabrics. I will put a link in the description box below for these. You can see a pink gingham fabric and a purple gingham fabric. So these are not going to be used to make something for me, but what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to make my two lovely nieces a skirt each. So one of my nieces loves pink, the other one loves purple, so I'm going to make them a skirt. They will just be simple elasticated waist skirts, but when I talked to my nieces about what they would like for me to make them, that is what they wanted. So that is what I will make for them. So I'm really excited to make these skirts and to see the girls wear them will be absolutely wonderful. So that is it for today's YouTube episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We talked a lot about sewing plans. I did show you a few things which were finished and we also had some works in progress, including the patchwork bow dress. So I hope you found that interesting today. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone's support here on this YouTube channel. It's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much if you've already subscribed. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed listening to all of the things that I have going on in my sewing room at the moment. There is quite a lot. <laughs> Please let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments box below. I really enjoy hearing from you all and I'll be interested to see what you thought about my plans and the projects that I'm working on at the moment. I hope you have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you and I'll see you here again soon.